Hello, in this video about the Maxwell plugin for Rhino 6, I want to show you the Maxwell material and the integrated editor. Okay, you can find uh, the Maxwell material in the same places as the Rhino ones, for example, from the material option of the layers. You, can, you will find it in the drop down menu. You can find it in the properties panel of on a particular object you will find as well in the drop down or if you have created another one you will find it here and of course you can find it in the maxwell in the, in the material panel let's see let's create one here as you create it you can just rename it and assign it to a particular object okay um, let's see how it looks like in this um, in the, in this part you can select a different preview scene to show the material um, you can double click the material to open this preview panel which you can resize to make it bigger smaller whatever you want you can collapse it again or you can right click and open a floating preview of the material. This may come handy if you are working with lists of materials instead of thumbnails. Okay. Um, the layout of the material is structured this way. So in the left side, you have the main structure of the material um, with the global properties on top. And whichever component you select, you will see its options on the right side. As you can see, here you have the awesome Maxwell VSDF component of the material. Okay, in the global properties, uh, you can choose the type of material you want. Currently, you can only choose from two, the reference set material or the custom material, where you can edit all the Maxwell uh, components of the material. In the refer reference of material, you, you can just load your own MXM files, you can create new ones, or you can search for them in the online gallery. Okay, in the custom material, on the other hand, you can customize, as the name says, um, all the properties of the max material. Let's see. The BSDF is mainly divided in three parts. The main properties are the main uh, nature of the material, um, which is the way it um, reflects the light, the way it, the light goes through the material, if it's transparent, the index of refraction, and several different options. Uh, below you have the surface uh, options, such as roughness, bump, basically the finishing of that material. And below you have the surface, subsurface properties, what happens under under the surface, like subsurface scattering and so Okay, here you can uh, just click, change colors, you will see it updating uh, real time. Uh, you can drag and drop the colors from one chip to the other. You can load uh, the Maxwell texture or any other kind of texture you want, because you can also use Rhino textures here, or you can use Maxwell tex texture in Rhino materials. And here you have two sections to the projection properties, where you can define the tiling the offset, the rotation of the material, and also the channel, and the image properties, where you can uh, tune up the brightness, contrast, saturation, etc. Okay, let's choose one. Um, okay. Now let's load it. You can see it there. Okay. As well as the colors, you can drag and drop textures from one chip to the other. Okay, you can work like that. 
let's create a new layer here to make a shiny layer for example to make this material uh, shiny okay the layer is created at, uh, below the existing one so you can drag and drop it to reorder the different components okay now the the new layer is on top let's make it additive let's uh, lower its roughness to something like 15 to make it shiny uh, or polished as you can see it here and just reduce a bit the positive mask to make it more soft okay you have softer uh, reflections there okay we can just see how it looks on, on fire and that's all for now thank you bye